I'm in Toronto right now. Oh my god! Baby, stay with me. Not the best angle, but it's what we're working with, and I don't want to move. I'm in Toronto, as you can see. The view from my room is kind of like not, it's like, it's kind of ass. But like, it's not like horrible, but it's not great. Like, but whatever, we're here for free. At least I think. This is the view. I feel like if this wasn't there, the rest would be perfectly fine. But like, I don't, I don't really know what this is, but it's kind of cool. Like, I feel like that could be like festivals and shit there. Oh my god, Jill, why are you in Toronto in a fancy ass hotel for free? Let me answer your question. So, my dad is on a teacher union. And so, every year since my birth, maybe even before that, I have no idea. He has been coming to Toronto for the annual meeting where they, like, talk about stuff and vote for people for stuff. I don't know the specifics. That's all I know. Anyway, they pay for your fancy-ass hotel with, like, a gym and a really nice pool. A really nice gym and a really nice pool. I can play fucking solitaire on those treadmills. I will never shut up about that. I can play solitaire on the treadmill! <laughs> Literally dream come true. Um, there's parks everywhere. It's beautiful. It's, like, a really nice- It's also connected to the Eaton Center, which is, like, the, the big fat mall. Um, but I get lost a lot. I feel kind of sad about today because I woke up at 12.30. Really? At 12.30? In, Tor in Toronto? I woke up at 12.30? Ah! <gasps> Ridiculous! I wanted to wake up at 11 every day, but, um, I guess not now. But I'll wake up at 11 tomorrow because I have to be up and ready to go to the art gallery at, like, 1 p.m. I'm actually really excited to go to the art gallery. Today, I walked to St. James Park, and I read some of my book, and then I got lost on the way back to my hotel, but I found my way because my, like, data, my data literally wasn't working, so I couldn't, like, maps my way back to the hotel, so I had to just, like, I had to just remember how to get back. <laughs> what? Anyway, I found my way back eventually, like, 30 minutes later. Now I am back in my hotel room and I have nothing to do for the next two hours. I have to wait for Becca to get back from her little day camp thing because she's she's doing a day camp and I kind of just am here doing whatever I want. And right now that is making a vlog because Julia needs this. <laughs> Love you, Julia. This is my Fight Club t-shirt. I have never read or watched Fight Club yet. I have the book on my bookshelf, but this is my plan. Oh, shit. Did I just... Oh, I didn't. I thought I turned it off. This is my plan. I'm going to read all my, like, corny looking books for the end of summer. So I'm going to read all those before summer's over or, like, during the rest of summer. And then in the school year, I'm going to read all my cool looking books. So I'm going to read Fight Club at School, The Bell Jar... Fucking what else? American Psycho. That's my plan. Now you know my plan. Um, and then once I read Fight Club, I can watch the movie. I can't watch the movie before I read the book because that'll ruin it. <sighs> but I've already watched American Psycho. So I don't know how that'll change how I read the book, but whatever. Whatever. I watched Men in Black last night. I did for the first time ever. And it's kind of funny because I decided like a while ago that I was going to dress as like Men in Black. Like me and my friends were going to do Men in Black for Halloween. I was like, guys, we need to do Men in Black. And they were like, okay, cool. Like, because I'm the idea man. In the middle of class, I was like, oh my god. And then I said, we need to do Men in Black. And they were like, oh my god, that's actually a good idea. And I was like, I know. Like, even though I have never seen the movies. So I watched the first one. And it was, it's so funny. I love these movies. I knew it was a good idea. I knew it was a good idea. I'm also really into rom-coms right now. Something about a rom-com just, oh, does it. Especially Ryan Gosling ones. Oh my god. I love Ryan Gosling. I can't. He's just. Oh! I have to go to the art gallery in 40 minutes. I guess I don't have to go like right at the same time as her, but like. Editing Jill. Um, here to explain what filming Jill failed to mention. Becca was in a day camp for the days that we were at my dad's thing. 
and in that little day camp they get one trips one of those trips was to the art gallery so i was going at the same time as her hoping that i could like walk with her and like see the art stuff with her but i really only saw her once but it was much more peaceful seeing it by myself seeing it by myself was beautiful i got to listen to my music enjoy the art by myself take my time not have to explain stuff it was i love the art museum and i would go again It is 107. I was supposed to be at the art gallery. 108. I was supposed to be at the art gallery eight minutes ago. Um, but I'm gonna show up fashionably late. I'm wearing normal socks. Uh this is the outfit. I got a little bit of green here. Um, some rings. Nothing really special. Chip nail polish. My bag, my faith, and also this necklace, a terrible tan line, and my earrings. Okay, going now. Hopefully, I can walk with Becca. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm stacked right now. Bubbly, bubbly, water, bubbly. Four bubbly's in here. Becca's holding my own bubbly. I'm loaded. Okay, we're leaving. Why the fuck do they have the buckle form? I thought she would take me away. Let's go. I love having a band. Just don't even care how we pack it when it's just three of us. Yeah. Look. 